Materialism states that all that exists is material. Naturalism states that everything can be explained by natural causes. Now, if these views are true, this really simplifies our search quite a bit because we realize that this cause must be material and natural. That really makes it a lot easier for us. It simplifies it a lot. Now, the question is, is there good reason to hold to these views? Well, that's why we're here. We're going to investigate the evidence. We don't just hold to these off the get go because they exclude everything else. It's like taking a multiple choice quiz, but already preconceiving that the only answer that could be correct is A. Now, if that turns out to be the correct answer, then you got lucky. Congratulations on the guess. But if the answer is B, C, or D, then you just narrowed yourself to one answer and it turns out the answer was wrong. So that's why we're really going to take the time to, in the analogy, observe the question carefully. And in this case, really observe the evidence so that we can actually find the correct answer that the evidence is pointing to. You see, even if you look at the question, but you already preconceived that it can only be A, though no matter how counterintuitive it seems, you're always going to pick A. We're here because we won't want to find what the evidence is pointing to. So we're not disregarding that the cause could be material or natural. We're not going to hold to these views by excluding all the others either. We're going to be open to either possibility, material or natural causes, or some other type of cause. We're going to follow the evidence where it leads. The fact is, if we follow the evidence, then it's going to point us to the truth, whether it's this or something else. So there's no risk in opening yourselves up to the possibility of other options, of other answers.